monsters. Tychus has been bringing it back. We've actually seen a good mix of Odins and lasers these days. So as we load into this game, Mr. Tetcher, just keep it in mind. It could go either way for these two teams. We're going to have to see what kind of heroics we're going to come out to this. But now it's all about freeing out the Dragon Knight. Very much so. Going to be playing on the Dragonshire. It is Wild Growth versus Goat Gaming. Got to love alliteration. I am a fan. <laughs> Goat Gaming. GG. 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 <laughs> I, I got a Korean GG button on my phone. It's a free app. <laughs> you know, silly. <laughs> All right. And speaking Something of that I have noticed here, Mr. Tetcher. Yeah. There's a lack of Sergeant Hammers. I've I not seen, I think, too. a single she, NA game she got with Sergeant Hammers. Uh, she got a pretty hard health nerf, but it didn't touch much else of her kit, and Hammers were playing quite cautiously anyway. I guess it's just she's easier to burst now. I guess. Zagara appears know, to be man. having a crisis. Oh, no. They've, okay, oh, so is Valor. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> that's, that's an out-of-bound bug in the corner. Would you like to introduce our left-hand side, sir? I would love to introduce the left-hand side. In the blue trunks, it is going to be Goat Gaming, and it's going to be Base Drop. On the Valor, it is going to be Equinox on the Tyrande. Fury is playing the Diablo with the wonderful Master Skin. It is going to be P Pithx. That's a hard name to pronounce for my for myself. In the Zagara and Lex Ufa. What a name is going to be playing the Ufa. Yeah, uh, Pithix. You can just go with Pithix, Pithix there. Pithix it for is. Yeah, for the uh, Zagara. I had to change around the team name, so I think we should be good on that front. But uh, Collusion up top on the ETC, Vu in the middle, uh, Blythok, Jordo, and Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Jimmy. Going to be holding down uh, these bottom lanes here from I Gotta Now, actually. All right, so it's Goat. It's GG, GG Blue. GG Blue, got it. Wild Growth is going to be your red. As uh, you know, I, I know almost. I've played with almost every single one of these players, but uh, some of these new Ooh, team names. Oh, Equinox. Equinox, what you doing, oh, bro? Oh, the stun! Incom Diablo coming in for the save. There's the overpower from Fury, and Equinox gets out. Fury with the rescue, absolutely epic. Did not actually expect uh, not only a very quick first blood, but then that epic save at the beginning of it all. Yeah. But, you know, these teams are in sync, and wow, Jordo way too far forward. Here goes one stun, looks for the second, doesn't quite grab it, though, because of that overpower. But Equinox, man, he stood in both of those blizzards. Uh, he's, he's really becoming kind of the human punching bag at this point. Collusion up top, up against Pithix, not probably a lot going to be going on there. Same here with the mid, base drop, and Vu. So it's all about the party lane bottom. Yep, party lane is where stuff's going to happen, and in fact... Is where the first blood's going to happen, and guess who it was? It is going to be Equinox. The, the Geronda, man. She, as I said, human punching bag at this point. She's just uh, taking so much abuse. We did have both blue shrines. Or, oh, we didn't cap it. No, red, you didn't cap it. Grab it. Uh, that's a it's little bit of a, so we're not, They're not going to have the steal. Red, right. red shrine top has not been taken as well. Still currently under the, the control of Goat Gaming, thanks to Pifex. So... Uh, they're not. They don't need to worry about that bot one too much, as long as Goat Gaming do not own it. Wild Growth, looking for their opportunity here, but both teams playing very cautiously with this brush. Jordo needs to be careful. He knew what happened last time. There's the stun, and that's the combo they need. There's the Uber stun follow up. Jordo trying to dash away. He's so low though. In comes Base Drop to get the kill, and he gets it. Nice pick up there by Goat. It was a good protective shield from the Malfurion to try to keep Jordo up, but Jordo is for sure going to be the big target. We now have both blue going back and forth, and uh, it's very likely that Base Drop is about to become a, the dragon of a legend as uh, Vu is just getting zoned out, not only by Lex Luthor, uh, but Equinox there as well. They give up Fury for this. Yep, down he goes. He was just standing on that bottom shrine, just taking all the hits to make sure that they had enough time to grab that dragon. Oh, okay. <laughs> is that what they were doing? <laughs> I was curious how the Diablo would have died that early against double support. Oh, yeah. that's a lie. That's a Jaina, not a Tyrande. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> uh, but still, I mean, well, gave sacrifices were made, good. man. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> sacrifices were made indeed. Dragonite heading up to the top lane. It was under a bit too much pressure in the mid lane. Tastar doing a good job of defending. So instead, going to move up to the top and he's going to guarantee to get a couple towers here. We're not going to see EPC able to stop that. So this will be the two tower standard that you see from most Dragon Knights. Is what they usually get. And bye bye ETC. He's going to get punted away, which even further guarantees this tower. And now base drop. Going to back up. It's unlikely you're going to get more than that for Dragon Knight. So he will likely either do a bit more harassment. Seconds. Yeah, he has three seconds left. So drop in some fireballs, get an auto attack off, and going to back up so he doesn't get picked off when he comes out of the Dragon Knight. And is now heading mid. You'll see if he can get Vu, but Vu 
playing safely, playing very far back, and playing very even more safely due to the fact that he has the mental acuity talent, meaning that his oracle cooldown has been reduced by 15 seconds. That's a, that's a, that's definitely a previous meta kind of you know um, pickup because as soon when we changed the the task star, it was just we we really needed to settle in in terms of what kind of builds you can go with Vu. Uh, or, well, Vu on the Tassadar. So, Mental Acuity definitely had its lifespan in uh, a previous meta or two ago. Haven't really seen much of it since. I wonder if that's actually intended or if that's a little bit more of a misclick. But, I mean, the 15 second reduction on the cooldown of it will lend a lot to the information game. You know, there's a lot of bushes in this bottom area that Vu will be able to scout out much more significantly. Yeah, this mid lane, as much as it is Tassadar's domain, as he does just clear it so quickly and has good denial on the Dragon Knights, it, there are a lot of directions you can come from to gank him in it. So it is a pretty decent talent. It may not have been the intended talent, but it does work pretty effectively here. However, Vu needs to be careful. Going to take a bit of harassment from base drop. Going to get pushed back very quickly. Vu does have the static charge, so if he can land storms onto base drop, he's going to trade very efficiently, but he didn't pop his oracle that time. There's the stun combo, and down he goes. And, yeah, there's only so many times you can cast oracle before something like that happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll have to see what uh, what we're going to go for the has start at 13 and 16. I mean, there's a lot of viable options to go with it, but the mental acuity build uh, uh, kind of goes back into... I want to say uh, the race car, so Prescience and Dimensional Warp at 13.16. We'll have to see if that will hold true for a bit more of a bruiser experience on the task. But uh, two kills, two. It's pretty even in terms of that, but you can see that between not only the tower damage, but as well some of the kills and just the lack of experience that gets soaked because of those kills, we have almost the an entire level lead here from Goat Gaming. So they're about to hit that heroic tier, Tetri. Yep, they're about to hit that heroic tier, and they have just grabbed both shrines. It is down to Vu to try and stop this, but Lex Ufa is chasing him down, and Vu not going to be able to get there in time. Base drop grabs the second Dragonite of the game for Goat Gaming. Vu being forced to retreat rally the long way to go and help his team defend, as he does not want to get caught out. <clears throat> So sorry. Uh, so level 10 to 9, I mean, hey, you didn't get caught out. There's no kill, but still, base drop is starting to lay into these towers. The first Dragon Knight of the game, not so powerful. Second one, well, a bit more powerful. But could this actually become an early fort? I'm not thinking so. I don't think we quite have the pressure here that we need for that. They do have their heroic abilities, though. In fact, both teams do. In comes the stage dive from ETC. He's pushing out Equinox, but as shield! we see, the Divine Shield taken by Lex Ufa, and now he's trapped Jimmy. Second stun does not land, but the Lightning Breath will be able to kill off Jimmy. Down he goes. We have not seen the Devouring more yet, I don't think. I might have heard it earlier. Strafe coming in from base drop as well, and that fight 100% went the way of GOAT Gaming. Equinox going to be stopped from feeding even more by the Divine Shield. That's the reason I choose to believe it was taken. But, uh, <laughs> no, I really like the idea of taking the Divine Shield here when you look at what their other talents are. We have the Devouring Moor, which is for the lockout in terms of CC-wise. The Lightning Breath is just guaranteed damage. Starfall is guaranteed damage, but Strafe is, their hu is another huge damage source that's going to allow them to wipe so quickly, but it's interruptible. Throw a Divine Shield on that, and you can't be CC'd. So you get the full duration of Strafe off, and it can also be used, as we saw there, to rescue teammates who may have been caught out. And this is a very mm -hmm. much a catch outcome out of Wild Growth. Yeah, it's a little less uh, control comp with that uh, with the shield instead of the storm, but the shield really has started finding its place in this meta. I mean, a little bit we've we've tampered with it in the past, but still, I think I've seen more shields this last week than I have all year uh, in in Heroes of the Storm, Mister Tetcher. So this is my second time ever seeing it. The only other time oh, I I've, saw I've it, seen it so many more. <laughs> I, I, I saw it once on a team that was running a Kerrigan, like full AP damage Kerrigan. With right. her, with her ultimate, her maelstrom ultimate, mm -hmm. and yep. she basically just got an, a a divine shield on her, and then dived in maelstrom and dealt all her damage for free. Exactly. Yeah. And well, I suspect it is going to be a very similar usage here. Curse Fury can't move. You know, with that lightning breath, he's going to be a big target trying to DPS down the lightning guys so that you don't get lightning breath, right? <laughs> uh, so it's going to be great for uh, stomping out bigger burst comps like that, as you said, with the catchouts, right? So we will have those options. Having a full damage strafe where you can't hit 
Vala could go a long way as well in a lot of this AoE. So I absolutely, I think it has a place here. Level 13 now achieved on the back of that as well. Goat Gaming pushing down with the Merc pressure in the bottom lane. They have themselves a shrine. It's Collusion up top still splitting with that stage dive ready to go. But if they don't do something soon, this bottom fort is not long for this world. Yep, stage dive going to need to be used quite soon. Tychus was able to grab some hard, ca some bruiser camps. So he's going to have to come down now to help his team defend. ETC will have to join him because uh, Go Gaming, they don't look like they're showing any signs of stopping at the moment. They're continuing to do this. In fact, Pifix even throwing down creep tumors to give vision so they don't get ganked. ETC going to have to dive in pretty soon if his, he wants his towers to live. He's pushed about as much as he can. There we go. There is the stage dive. He is coming in, but there's the stun combos. Equinox taking a lot of damage. The Divine Shield once again goes on to Equinox. Nice devouring more. And Lightning Breath combo. And down goes Jada. Tyker's going to join him. Jimmy is on the run, but he gets stunned. And he is on the run. Can Lex Ufa finish him off? No, he can't. Jimmy escapes. Vu may will also be able to escape very nicely there. But that was a free for zero in favor of Goat Gaming. Just able to clean up everything. And it seems literally that this Divine Shield is just to keep Equinox from feeding. <laughs> two for two, man. I mean, yeah. Curse Fury, big target. <laughs> Vala, big target. Nope, we're going for Taranda. <laughs> we two need the two. Taranda. She's got that dap. She's got that DPS. <laughs> Mafrian uh, just cannot stand the fact that she's on the other team. So if no one, <laughs> if he can't have her, no one can have her. That, that's the deal here. Just to be fair, she is like the easiest target in terms of who we can kill. So she is definitely a target that way. But maybe in general, yeah, not she, today. <laughs> yeah, definitely. She's the target and easiest to kill in terms of the fact she doesn't have much escape. And you can see she didn't even take sprint at level 13. She went for the overflowing light, which mm -hmm. gives her even better healing. And that makes sense that, because she's not dying anymore because of Ufa. It is great. So again, her healing got a big buff, but as well, overflowing light went from an 80% threshold to 50%. Yeah. That's a huge threshold to have 35% more healing. That's why we're seeing, you know, more and more of, uh, well, maybe not more and more of Toronto, but that's why she's still a very solid pick for uh, you know, double support lineups, bruiser lineups, because she has such immense healing capability on a single target scale to go with all the damage and utility that she provides. Very much the case. Going to see Goat Gaming backing up here. They're going to finally take down this middle fort. They've managed to take down the first keep of the game already, though. And they're just going to push this down with relative ease. Having a look at some of the rest of the builds, like you predicted, we do see the prescience coming in from Tastar going in for that more bruiser build. His shields, though, not enough to stop the Dragon Knight from wiping out their towers. But Dragon Knight now going to expire, so we'll see Goat Gaming backing up a bit. Pifix is running the Double Hunter Killer, and he is running the Mutalisk. So mm -hmm. still sticking with that rather than the Grooved Spines. Well, the Mutalisk still has the one advantage of flight. And even if they don't stick around, they can fly over units to get to their opponents. They can fly and show us vision over top of bushes, over top of gates. Uh, so it's still very much an information kind of thing. And the bounce attack, I mean, in these grouped up team fights, 50, uh, the, not 50%, but the bounce attacks can actually start racking up over time. You know, hundreds turns into thousands of extra damage uh, simply because. And so, I mean, there are still advantages to it. It's just not as strong as it used to be because they fixed that bug. But, you know, the 16s are here. We're still not even close to the last talent here before the storm here for wild growth and uh, that is putting them very much on the defensive Tetra. this is indeed the case but goat just continuing to be aggressive forcing uh forcing wild goat wild goat oh god uh, <laughs> it's a wild goat oh no forcing wild growth to just play like you said so defensive just sticking back in their base not wanting to venture out for fear of getting picked up there's the stage dive and instant stun of the Starfall coming in. Divine Shield this time onto Pifix. Didn't actually do much, but the Devouring Moor going to be grabbing Tastar. He's going to be able to back out, though. And this time, the combo didn't go off. They weren't able to win their fight instantly this time. Right in comes the Lightning Breath and the Strafe, though. Trying to do as much damage. Base drop having to vault out, and he does escape barely there's the side storm he is able to get out stun lands onto the etc fury looks like he's finally gonna go down but he has enough souls lex ufa will be joining him there's no way he is getting out of this alive bar a miracle there's a heal though but no down he goes but uh go gaming 
not giving up this without a fight. They're retreating and harassing as much as they can. Still continuing to drop their damage. They may, in fact, get a kill here. Musilisk chasing onto ETC. Vu is so low, and he does go down. And that does even up the kill count a little bit now that Diablo is back. And we're seeing the rest of Wild Grove retreat because they're like, yeah, it's 4v4 again. We killed two people, and it's 4v4 again, and we are low on health, and Diablo is full on health. Yeah, you don't really want to overextend into that resurrected Diablo because, yeah, he, as he said, he'll come back full health and full power. Problem, though, being is that even though that fight did not go the way of GOAT gaming, they don't have the map positioning to really stop this out. And Pithix is very much on his way. Jimmy tried his best, but rest in pieces, Malfurion. Pithix is now going to grab once more the Dragon for GOAT gaming, and they're going to start marching down without their Uther with... The dead tasks are now just resurrecting. We don't have the Malfurion here as well. This could very likely be a keep. Yeah, it could definitely be a keep. Uther is on the way, currently 4v4, but it's 3 and a Dragon Knight versus 4 and a 2 level lead. It's about to be a 1 level lead as level 17 will be got eventually by Team Wild Grove, or it will be if they actually get near a minion ever. There we go, finally able to grab that level 17. In comes Diablo, though, very aggressive, nice dimensional shift by Vu, able to keep himself alive. Odin, though, will not be so lucky, being taken out by the Lightning Breath Dragon Knight combo. And, well, yeah, we're just going to see Goat Gaming continue to push in, and this is likely going to be game. They're just going on to the keep here. In comes the Water Elemental, though, base drop. Divide Shield has been dropped. There's the Strafe. That's the combo we were talking about. Full damage of Strafe being dropped off by by Vu. Base drop having to retreat. He did get envenomed by a uh, Black, by a uh, Blyhawk. Yep, Blight, uh, Blighthawk there. <laughs> Base drop, getting rooted, but able to survive. Vu is on the run. Equinox not able to pick him off. Dimensional Shift once again saving his life. And uh, we won't see Go end the game here, but they're still going in, looking for some kills. Going to at least get some damage onto this core. Going to see if they can end the game. But Stun did not land onto Jimmy. He is going to be able to get out. ETC doing the best he can. And Goat still looking to end here. Base drop's very low. They need to be so careful they don't lose this, but they do have enough damage. And that is GG. Go Gaming. Going to be moving on to the next round. Congratulations to the GOATs. Level 20 to 17 by the end of it. They were pretty much in control of that game from the get-go. Uh, it might have been the first blood there on top of the Toronto, but, you know, it, I think that was more just part of the plan. We saw so much emphasis on keeping Equinox alive time <laughs> and time again. Uh, and then the one time we don't Divine Shield him, they lose the fight. So <laughs> This is true. And in that last fight, we finally saw what we called. It was like, right at the start, when we saw that, it was, oh, yeah, there's going to be Divine Shield on Tavala to guarantee the strafe or divine shield onto diablo to make sure it doesn't get burst down every single time onto equinox and then that final fight finally went down onto valor to keep her alive and she was just okay i have a divine shield on me press r instantly gets all <laughs> of the damage <laughs>